nice little show here. We'll talk about him first. What kind of player has it been to play next to him? Um, it's been a great pleasure playing next to him. He taught me many things. He's uh, a great leader, a tough, gritty, gritty uh, nose tackle as well. I expect great things from him in the NFL too. What's a guy like that do in the middle of the line? How does, he, does it free you up? He did a lot of things. He helped us out a lot, especially some of the double teams that were able to get me singled up a little bit with offensive linemen. He's such a big guy. Are you a 3 4 end? What are you? Uh, I'm very versatile. I can play every position on the defensive line. Uh, Notre Dame, did you play very position? Yes, sir. How'd you, what did you make of what's your measure of the official right now? Um, uh, 304. Oh, 6'5, 304. How do you answer some of the criticisms that say you didn't have the same year you had in 012 as you did in 013? Um, I'll just use that as motivation, keep moving forward. Um, that's all I can say. What went into it? Um, he's a great character guy. He, uh, he's a great person to know to as well. He's a tough player and a great person to learn from. Did you make people laugh in the huddle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, got a, he got a comedian uh, character. How were you able to sl uh, slim down for this process? And how much do you think the hernia surgery set you back last summer? It was a major setback for me. But uh, I slim down now, maybe to get back, ready to roll. You talked a bit in your draft diary about how you've learned a lot about nutritional uh, information. Do you feel like that was a deficiency at Notre Dame in terms of what the staff taught? No, it's just something I was able to uh, do more pertaining to looking at myself and actually getting a chance to know my body one-on-one. -on -one. What do you expect your NFL weight to be? Between this weight right here. You seem to be a guy who, based on your uh, height and weight and, and play style, could be a very good 3-4 end. Are you hearing that a lot here? Yes, sir. Did, how much did you do that in college, that type of uh, position? Well, we ran a 3-4 ran three, four defense on the game, but we had a 4-3 as well, so I was very versatile in every position. What percent would you say you were 5-10? It's like 50-50, yes, sir. How many, how many teams have reached out to you? How many interviews have you had so far? I have spoken over to 23 teams so far. Duke, Duke. Duke defensive back, Ross Cockrell, table one. 4-3-5 four, three, 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 four, three, tech, and 3-4-4. Uh, four, four. Auburn defensive back, Was Chris that, Davis, I imagine table it was pretty two. frustrating last year. It seemed like you and Lewis and Sheldon all at different times suffered injuries or were plagued by injuries. How much do you think that set the defense back last year? Just repeat yourself. Uh, last year it seemed like you and Lewis and uh, um, Sheldon got hurt at different times and you were able, able to be healthy at the same time. How much do you think that set back the defense last year? Um, it was just major setbacks for us. Something that, you know, it's football. We won't really get hurt. We just have to play harder, be able to play for those positions, just my brothers, and uh, get them healthy. Has talked about instituting a policy to give a 15 yard penalty if the N word is heard on the field from a player. I'm just sort of curious how difficult it might be to police sort of the way what individual players say on the field by referees or, or by anybody. Um, you can't control what somebody else say. I definitely can't. But uh, I hope that get into process and do more respect. And it's a uh, very uh, difficult. Uh, difficult word to say and uh, maybe it'll stop getting used now. Do you hear it? Is it something that you hear on the field? No. No, oh, I haven't.